Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the all new Ring Indoor Cam with a built in privacy shutter. The privacy shutter allows you to block the video feed and camera completely to give you the ultimate peace of mind in privacy and control over your Ring Indoor Cam. So in order to set up the Ring Indoor Cam, the first thing that we need to do to get the device set up is plug it into the provided power adapter right here. It's got a port on the back, so we're just going to plug that into power and get this powered up. We plugged in the Ring Indoor Cam with the privacy shutter and you can see it went through a power up sequence where it made some noise. That means that we're ready to set this up on the Ring app. So if you haven't done so already, download and install the Ring app. We've got the Ring app open right here, which means we're ready to get this set up on the app. In the app, we're going to click on the upper left hand corner on the menu button right here. Then we're going to click on set up a device and now we need to select what we're setting up, which is a security camera. So we click right here. It says scan the QR code on your ring device. You're going to click I'm ready to scan and then the QR code is located right underneath where I've got this white piece of paper. So you're going to scan that now. It said ring indoor cam, second generation detected. And now it says, where would you like to set up your indoor cam? So you can add a new location or since we already have the location set up, we're just going to click continue. Give your indoor cam a name. We're going to call this ring privacy. Now we're going to click done. Now we're going to click continue. To continue, Open the privacy cover. To do this, rotate it to the left or right so it points to unlocked. So if you've got it currently locked like this, you're gonna just open it up. So we've got ours rotated and we're ready to go. Our camera cover is open and I'm going to click continue. We're going to click into the house. Plug in your cam and wait 30 seconds to turn it on. Indoor cam is on. Next, grab your Wi-Fi password. Click continue. I'm near the device. Connecting to your indoor cam. Now connected to the Ring app. Now we need to select our Wi Fi network that we're going to connect to. Connecting to Wi Fi. Just a moment. Setup successful. Now your Ring indoor cam second generation is set up. We're going to click continue. Now installing an update. This may take several minutes. We're going to click continue. I've already installed it. Skip for now. We're going to skip for now. And we're going to skip this for now. Let's skip this as well and click I'm done. Right now, our Ring Indoor Cam second generation with the privacy shutter is currently installing an update. So we'll wait a few minutes for that to complete and then it should show us the live view here and we'll be able to use our Ring Indoor Cam second generation with the privacy shutter shortly. Great, our update is complete. It took about five minutes for the update to complete and you can now see a view of what's going on on the Ring Indoor Cam second generation with the privacy shutter. So let's click on this camera and it's gonna show us the live view. There we go, you can see my hand right in front of the camera there and what's going on with the Ring Indoor Cam with the privacy shutter. So let's shut the privacy shutter and see what happens. There we go. No longer will it show you anything on the video feed, but also with the privacy shutter, it automatically tells the app to no longer connect to it. So let's open it back up and see what happens. Click reconnect. Click try again. There we go. Now it's reconnected and we can see the live view and live feed 
of the Ring Indoor Cam second generation with the privacy shutter. Now with this camera, you're going to have live video footage. You can also store the recordings on your phone if you pay for the subscription service. Now it also allows you to have two-way communication. You've got your microphone here and your speaker icon so you can mute your microphone or your speaker, but it's nice that you can do either. You also have a siren feature so that if you have an emergency, you can play the siren. Now let's look at the settings. Click on the gear symbol in the upper right hand corner. So I'm gonna click on that. It says close and go to settings. And then we've got more control of our ring cam. You can control motion detection, turn that on or off if you want motion alerts and motion warnings. You can also look at your event history here and see all your clips. So you can look at when we had a live view, when it detected a person or when it answered motion. Once you've got multiple events in here, it'll show you even more. Right now at the bottom it says Ring Protect Plan. You have 30 days left. Tap to save your Ring Protect features. So typically with these cams, they'll give you some sort of subscription trial service. And then after that, you can choose if you want to continue it. You can go in here and if you wanna go on mode settings, you can have it disarmed, home or away, and you can change those settings as you want. You've got your siren here, or you can click on the live view. We're gonna click on the siren real quick so you can see here how it sounds. The siren will automatically turn off after 30 seconds, but it certainly is loud and you wouldn't wanna leave it on too long. You can link other devices and you can also snooze motion. So if you wanna snooze the alerts, you can do so here. So we're going to start a snooze for two hours and see what happens. You can link chimes. So if you click here and you've got a compatible ring chime, what you can do is have it play a chime alert anytime motion is detected. You can look at your device health, change your motion settings down here. So if you wanna have motion zones, you can make them and have alerts only for certain areas. So if I click in this edit zones, I can change where I want those. And let's just click add a zone and then I've got a new zone. So let's say I wanna be alerted when that box moves, then I can click done and I'll have another motion zone. So just click done and we'll click save. Now you can choose between your motion zones and what you want to happen, as well as you can change your motion sensitivity. But if I wanna change my motion sensitivity, I can go from min to max here, and I can go back, and then you've got more options for smart alerts and advanced settings if you really wanna customize your motion. So you can get uh, motion schedules activated, and that will allow you to avoid getting motion alerts during certain times and days. So let's go back. And let's go back again. And then you've got your device settings here. Let's click on that. Here you can change your video settings. If you wanna have snapshot capture on, you've got your notification settings, privacy settings, and you've got your Ring Edge settings, which allow you to store video locally on your Ring Alarm Pro if you have one. You can change the name, location, and more from there. And if you wanna connect it to other Ring devices or other Ring device partners, you can do that as well. So let's click back. And then we're pretty much done with everything you can do with the Ring Indoor Cam in terms of the setup process. Let's reconnect to that live view one more time. And then we'll just put our hand in front of it and let's close the privacy shutter just to make sure that it works. Okay, we've got that privacy shutter shut and you can see it shuts down the camera feed as well as there's no way for anyone to see through that camera. So I think it's great that the Ring Indoor Cam second generation received this update with the privacy shutter just to give you that added peace of mind and you can really make sure that no one is watching with this solid plastic hard cover on your camera. I appreciate that and I think it's great that they give you an actual manual option, but then when the privacy shutter is enabled, it also cuts it off from the app connection, which is a really nice feature. So thank you for watching how to set up your Ring Indoor Cam second generation with the built-in privacy shutter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.